Some of you might have been wondering why it's gone a bit quiet on our channel recently. The reason is that Tim's been very busy inventing and engineering in his workshop and making films about it on our new channel. And I've been busy preparing for a big horseback adventure at the end of March, which will also be another fundraiser for the new barn. We'll ride all across Ireland on a historical route called the Bera Brefna Way, hoping to raise awareness for our GoFundMe campaign to finish the barn and build a disability toilet. You can follow us here if you're interested. And we also hope to make a mini-series about my ride for our channel. My fundraiser ride will take nearly three weeks to complete so we make sure to get regular exercise. Flora, giddy up. Flora, come on. But as we will be walking mostly on our trip, slow and steady logging work is brilliant for building fitness. Flora loves the work and we get the trees cleared, so it's good all around. And when it lashes with rain, we work on testing different equipment options for our trip in the now nearly finished new barn. Whilst we wait for the engineer to get back to us with specifications on final works inside the barn, the builders keep busy making an outside paddock for the horses. Flora's watching. Are you watching, Flora? It's all coming together slowly but surely. For your fancy. He's very interested, isn't she? The weather hasn't been great all February, really, with three big storms passing through in quick succession and a lot of rain in between so I can't blame the dogs for having a lie-in in the morning. We try to be out and about whenever possible. There's so much to do on the land before spring unfolds fully, like checking on the trees in Sam's wood and clearing greenery around our youngest trees with our well-proven stomping method And of course, planting more trees. The apricot tree in the glass house is in full bloom, and as there is no sign of any pollinator whatsoever yet, I do my trick with the paintbrush again. Tim gave the beds in the glass house a big tidy up and they are waiting to be planted. I put some first early potatoes in outside. They are nicely chitted so it shouldn't be too long to see them come up. We try to tidy our hedges a bit every winter, like this one, which was completely overgrown and not stock-proof anymore. But by carefully cutting it back and laying branches and shrubs to encourage thicker regrowth, we should have a lovely, versatile, dense hedge in years to come. And there won't be this happening anymore. Despite sheep netting, some of our flock are just too clever and spend all their free time trying to get out of the nice safe place we provide for them. Gulliver is growing steadily and he is such a friendly chap, although sometimes this is food motivated, we don't mind. The gorse is in bloom and the donkeys adore the fragrant flowers and spiky fresh growth. And 
when they've eaten everything within reach, they diligently clear the ivy off the felled trees in our woodshed field. They crawl right into the heaps of branches to get the most tasty bits and end up like this occasionally. Why, what did you do? Oh, Nell, you get stuck in a branch. Oh, poor Nell. Yeah, I don't know what happened. The vet came to castrate Gordon. Poor thing, he was sedated heavily on the day and it took him quite some time to wake up again. But with a lot of care and extra treats, he's almost fully recovered now. And he now, of course, is allowed to join the others. Hooray! Finally, no more lonely donkey cries. Gordon, time now for you. You can come out, join the others. What? At first, he retreated very quickly beyond a big puddle. Nell and Eeyore were just too much into his face. But soon enough they all enjoyed each other's company peacefully in the big field. And now they can stay next to each other in the barn as well. All is well that ends well. I'm so pleased for them that they now can all live together again as a small donkey herd. The most wonderful though at this time of year is the grand old stretch in the evening full of spring light and the promise of a long bright summer ahead.